It's finally here, guys. Welcome back, loud and proud crowd. Hope you guys are doing absolutely awesome. I'm doing pretty good. It is freaking cold in the shop this morning. It is, it is absolutely freezing right now. That's not gonna stop us. We're gonna try to get some work done on the old Dually 12 valve today. A lot of you guys know how this truck currently is running still. It's just a muffler. It's got a MagnaFlow. The old muffler was cut out and the MagnaFlow muffler was welded on. It looks pretty janky down there. And then they welded on a kind of janky looking job of a, you know, MagnaFlow exhaust tip on there. So um, we want to get rid of that. We want to get some real good sound under this thing. And by real good sound, I'm talking five inch straight pipe exhaust from the down pipe. So I'm pretty freaking excited. This is gonna be, this is gonna sound so good. I love the sound of 12 valves and a five inch straight pipe 12 valve, I'm not sure I've heard. I've had my 12 valve, which was obviously a four inch straight pipe and this is gonna be hopefully even better yet. So we're gonna get right to it. I'm not exactly sure how to do this. I've never installed exhaust on one of these trucks. I've seen a lot of guys do them. And it doesn't seem like it's too much of a, chore or headache but since i've not done it myself i'm not going to speak too soon however like i said it shouldn't be that difficult and uh should be pretty easy to work around truck is stock height so um i can't imagine it would be that difficult just gonna have to remove some hangers i do believe there's my dad pulling back guys we're gonna get to removing some hangers and stuff like that basically the first thing we need to really do is get rid of well, we're gonna make sure everything's in our box for a new one, but we need to get rid of the factory exhaust and all of that underneath to make sure we can put in our new one. By the way, quick merch plug, hats and shop shirts. Hats, we have for sale on the website. You guys have been buying this stuff up recently. Shop shirts, sale ends tomorrow. Today's the last day you can order that stuff. We do have decals as well, but let's get right into that box. That. Holy <laughs> crap, bro! Look at the size of that thing. It's bigger than my legs. <laughs> it's a lot bigger than your legs. <laughs> Holy freaking crap! That's yeah, gonna sound so crazy. And to top it off, I got a nasty. 8 inch tip for the thing. So this is um this is going to sound pretty crazy compared to that muffler exhaust right now. I mean it's going to be it's going to be pretty cool. Holy Moses. Look at the size of these things. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Neighbors are going to hate us for this. So with the EPA. So the EPA. <laughs> If it's supposed to move the whole bolt, not yet. One of them. Well, we got the entire factory and slightly modified MagnaFlow junk exhaust muffler and all that jazz. We're going to install the five inch exhaust, hopefully. We're gonna connect the down pipe. What is it called, a flange? I have no idea. Anyways. Doohickey. <laughs> a doohickey. Um, we're gonna install that, get that down there, and then we're gonna install the rest of it. Um, but yeah, it's pretty freaking, me. I mean, guys, that's a huge exhaust system, holy crap. Dude. I don't know if there's any justice, but if you guys know what a five inch exhaust looks like, you know what I'm talking about. It is massive. My dad's like, yeah, I don't think you can walk into AutoZone or Advanced and get these massive clamps just off the shelf. But, yeah, we're gonna see if we can get it all mounted up. Guys, as much as this was such a pain in the butt, I'll try to explain why by showing you on the nasty red really quick. So that exhaust kit comes with, you know, brackets and hangers and clamps according to, you know, OEM hangers, right? So that it'll match up with these hangers, the hanger that was here and here, 
you know, and down at the tailpipe and, you know, underneath and everything else up by the transmission. Well, my dually had like two hangers missing because when whatever shop did this way back when they put this janky custom piece of crap up under there, all, I don't know, just all crappy looking, welded together and just really crummy looking. Um, they made their own hangers and they took away some of those hangers and kind of made their own little spots where they kind of welded those up in there and put little rubber hangers for them. And as fancy as they may have thought that was, it really made it a pain in the butt. When my dad was here, we were under the truck for probably two hours just trying to figure out what in the heck we're supposed to do. I'm like, this doesn't make any sense. We're not, like, why doesn't it line it up? Nothing's lining up. It doesn't, you know, it just wasn't adding up. You know, we couldn't figure it out. You know, he had to leave. And so then just basically we, at that point, before, around the time he left, we realized that the factory hardware on the truck was missing in a couple spots for hangers. And so I kind of had to make do and kind of make slash use my own kind of hanger thing um, in a couple locations. But I'm going to show you guys really quick the way it looks under there if I have some kind of light or well, you guys will not be able to see anything okay well I'll try to use this light over here maybe let's see does it work yeah we're good so let me kind of show you what we got going down under here up in there is where your down pipe come this is your down pipe coming down mount it up to the turbo bring it down here it goes from a four to a five inch right there you can see right back behind that clamp where it bells out to a five inch. Got another clamp right there tightened up. There's a hanger coming over here on the other side of the transmission. You got two 40 inch sections of um, five inch pipe. And then pretty much all the way out, you know, from the transmission area is all five inch, you know, from the down pipe. But yeah, I mean, it's not like the most clean looking. I mean, look at these brackets. See so yeah, like that bracket right there, if it'll focus. That right there, that hanger, how it's crooked. And then when you look down there, there's an upside down clamp there. Well, I had to hang it and now, I mean, you can pound that thing as much as you want. It's rock solid now, but what I had to do, if you can see up here, I had to use it partially hung up on that hanger. And then I had to use part of a hanger off of the nasty red and connect it there. If you guys can see that, I don't know if you can see anything doing any justice but I had to hang it up right there and there's that other clamp right there it's that one back there well the way I have that mounted up is just hanging right in there because right here you can see there's a couple of holes in this side plate right here that I'm trying to focus in on right in the center. There's a couple pre-drilled holes there. There's supposed to be a hanger that comes out through there and hangs right up next to the shock here on the rear passenger side. Well, they took that off when they made their own fancy little thing. And so then we, we didn't have a hanger there to use. And so what I just did was I just hung that, which is solid now. I mean, it's all, I mean, it's not going to you know come out of there. Um, but I just hung that up over through that hole that was already there in that mount and then just had to tighten it up like that. It's not perfect, it's not ideal, but I got it to work and it's solid as can be now. I mean, it's not gonna go anywhere, I'm not, so I'm not worried about it. I have a tip for the exhaust. However, I don't wanna put it on today and that's the reason why I have it hanging down just a little bit more because I got a tip for there. Um, but I wanna put it on today, it's already passed when I usually like to stop work and so I can actually get my video edited and uh, up to you guys on time. It's actually over an hour past my typical wrap up time so I can spend about two and a half, three hours editing up the video for you guys. But I'm gonna just real quick go under, make sure all the bolts are tight, everything's good and snug with the impact there. And then we're going to give the old girl a start up after we open up the garage door and see how she sounds. Guys, I am freaking stoked. We went from having the factory cats in there and a Magnaflow muffler and just a bunch of three and a half inch pipe down to four inch pipe, mufflers and cats and all that junk to a straight five from the down pipe. So guys, I'm freaking stoked. I'm gonna check all these bolts really quick one last time, just so we don't have any kind of loose bolts down there giving us any kind of issue and then we'll give her start up. Well guys, we got the exhaust all tightened up and guys, I'm so freaking excited. You guys have no idea 
I don't know if it's coming through as I'm excited as I am, but guys, I'm freaking stoked right now. I mean, look at this freaking exhaust. Holy crap. Let's see this thing fire up, boys. I'm so freaking excited. That thing is so loud. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna get this thing pulled out so I don't completely smoke up the whole barn, but guys, this thing sounds money. It is so loud. But it's like a good, it's like a good old tractor sound. I don't know how to explain it. It's a lot louder than it used to be, that's for sure. Set my box tripod right back over here and uh, get a couple revs. This thing, no joke, like vibrates your entire body. Again? Now, she don't smoke much right now, but she runs clean and freaking loud, bro. How freaking good does that sound? Okay, you got food right now and you're probably freezing. So you can go inside, but thank you, thank you. Guys, I cannot express to you how stoked I am. It sounds so freaking nasty. All my hangers holding on good, all my exhaust is on good, everything is good. But guys, that is so nasty loud, I can't, I've never heard a true five inch exhaust. I mean, obviously this isn't turbo back five inch. This is just downpipe back. I don't know if it's the same thing or if it's not considered the same thing, but um, that is so freaking rich, dude. Wow, it sounds absolutely awesome. I don't know if you got any justice, but from inside the cab, I guess most people wouldn't be disappointed because they don't really want to have like drone noise or a loud exhaust you know, sound in the cab, but I can't really, it doesn't really sound much different inside the cab other than a little bit of a rumble because you can hear it back there, but you really can't hear it in the cab, which I was kind of like, should I roll the window down? I still couldn't hear it very well. I'm like, what is wrong? Like, is it my hearing? Like, whatever. Never had an issue with my hearing, so I'm like trying to figure it out. 
but it's not very loud from in the cab but when i got out that's why i wanted my brother to rev it for me i was like dude i want to get back there and see how loud it actually sounds from the outside of the cab because i'm like from inside it doesn't sound too impressive you know and i get back there and he revs it a couple times and it just like freaking shook my whole body i'm like oh my gosh that thing is freaking loud but guys i'm so freaking stoked you guys please freaking subscribe smash that like button if you guys loved the sound of that now i am going to leave a link to the whole exhaust system in the description below for you guys if you have a second gen with the factory hangers and how hardware still there it shouldn't be that difficult this should be seriously at the most a one hour job between removing the old one and installing a new one given that we had to I don't know. We didn't realize that it was missing stuff until we looked back at the other truck. We're like, wait a minute, this stuff, it doesn't even have the stuff that you're supposed to have. Some other shop must have got rid of it. But anyways, guys, I'll leave a link down there for this exhaust system, this five inch. Guys, oh my gosh. I'm in love right now. I am freaking in love with this thing. Like I said, I got the the exhaust tip. I just didn't want to, I'm way behind. I'm like two hours behind now on schedule. Hopefully I get the video up at a reasonable time tonight. Um, I just didn't want to do more grinding and spitting and you wouldn't, you wouldn't think an exhaust tip can take that while to put on and perfect, but I've put on a few and sometimes it doesn't go as planned. I just wanted to leave on a good note today. And uh, if you guys did enjoy this video, definitely smash that like button. Remember, the merch. We got hats. We got loud and proud shop shirts right now. This is the last day to place your orders on that kind of stuff. Um, when it comes to the shop shirts, hats and decals we'll always have. Um, but when it comes to the shop shirts, very limited time because, you know, there's a lot of time and a lot of hours that goes into that um, because it is personalized to your name. So the name that you place on the order form when it comes to billing, that is the name that will be used on the patch. So the name used on the billing by default will be on the patch. First name. All you got to do is buy it and then email me. Give me the name that you use for the billing information, whether it's a parent's name or whatever that was on the card. Give me that first and last name so I know which name to change and I'll go to the forms. Look for the order under that name and I'll switch the name of the patch to the name that you guys pick. Just let me know guys. Like I said, last day to do that stuff. You guys have been killing it lately and I just want to say a freaking huge, huge thank you. Some huge things coming up on the truck. And the exhaust system is just one minor thing. But guys, very soon, ho ho ho. I've been talking to some people behind the scenes. I'm about to order some stuff. But I'm going to save that for another video. I'll let you guys know in a different video. But anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this, definitely smash that like button. Leave your comments below. Let me know what you guys think of the 5 inch. And I will catch you guys in tomorrow's video. Peace. Doing what I love, going day to day, but I know it takes time and I'm patiently waiting. Sometimes I contemplate, cause one day you feel so close and the next is out of sight. But I know I gotta hold on tight and go back to just going out every night. Like if I'm about to let it go now, I can live alright, live a normal life, doing nine to five. But I know I'm more than that. I gained this skill, wasn't born with that. At the end of the life, it's a memory.